This video is absolutely ridiculous. So a video is going viral on TikTok where this group of friends are going out to a fancy dinner. It's apparently some girl's birthday and they're going out to celebrate. Now the problem happens obviously when it's time to pay the bill and turns out the cost of the dinner is get this $4,600. Now I don't know if they ordered the devil fruits from One Piece, but a regular bill is not $5,000. So a lot of people are obviously justifiably really mad about this because they said that they were going to split the $4,600 evenly amongst all the guests, even though that some people ordered ridiculously expensive things and some dude probably just ordered some bread. Hey, so I see that video went really viral. Um, the bill was like $4,600. That's why I didn't want to split it. This was a very expensive restaurant. Look, they're even getting hot towels so i'm finna show y'all the whole video so you can see what actually happened bro i'm tired of this it's her birthday like it's my fucking birthday why the fuck should i have to pay for something on my birthday right? y'all oh, no. no but no but what i'm saying is why would i pay for something i didn't buy i'm only paying for what's on the check i'm not splitting the bill shawty that's crazy you expect us to split my the bill is, you got lamb chop you got steak Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about what did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. We split right, the bills. So my thing is, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing way too much. much. We didn't order all that. But what I'm saying is, I'm not paying for that. That is dead, baby girl. That is dead. That's dead. Stop coming out of public. You can't pay for your food. What's the point of getting food if you can't pay? Nisha, happy birthday to you. So one of the women says, why should I have to pay for anything? It's my birthday. Now, I don't know uh, what happens on your, your birthday, but I don't magically get a $5,000 check. In fact, that would be pretty sweet. That would be like a Monopoly board. And each time you cross go, you, you get like $2,000 or something. But instead in real life, you just get older and walk towards the inevitable death. My only question to her is why would you order something you can't afford? That is ridiculous. You can't just expect other people to pay for your shit. Now, I don't know if she she was the one who spent all the $4,600, but apparently she doesn't even want to pay for her part of the meal, which is a bit ridiculous when the bill is this high. Dude, I'm honestly so confused how the bill has got up to this amount because I've been to a bunch of restaurants in my life and never in my entire life have I spent $4,600. Even at the grandest occasions of like a friend's birthday party with 30 people uh, uh, at the staff like I, I I don't get it I don't know like unless you ordered like tons of champagne or like alcohol like extremely fancy types then maybe but just with like steak I I don't know man I really think they're getting scammed beyond belief especially when you consider the worst part I can see the goddamn food on the table yeah it looks like you haven't touched freaking half the goddamn food which is another thing I don't understand why would you ever order something that you're not gonna eat or or that you're gonna take one bite and just throw away isn't that like insanely disrespectful? It's just common flipping human decency, like have some respect for the food you're eating and probably finish what's on your plate before you order another 50 gold plated steaks for a Minecraft diamond studded on top. What the f are you eating? I don't know. Now, apparently there's another follow up video to this situation where he basically explains that because of the situation, he lost his friends and some of these friends were his third grade friends. So they've been friends for life. And this is what uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, apparently. It's just hilarious to me that like, oh, you aren't going to pay five grand for me. I guess we're not friends anymore, dude. Like you selfish piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I just want to say thank you. Like I, I've never posted a video and it reached one million views in less than three hours. Uh, I know y'all want to update about what happened after the party i appreciate it. first i just want to tell y'all thank y'all first before i tell y'all so basically um just a good summary so after you know after we did all that um we ended up you know just calling the waiter over and i told him don't split nothing for me my friend said don't split nothing for me they can split if they want to but we're not doing it we're not here for that the girl you know still you know they still proceeded to call us um uh, my bad y'all i'm walking and i'm just in shock because all the views but 
basically, you know, um, she they proceeded to just say, you know, they don't want to mess with us. And this has been my friend since like third grade. And I'm like, so you seriously don't want to be my friend no more because of this? So she texts me today talking about, you know, people been sending it to her. People sent her the video, you know, people are down to her. But I'm just like, hey, those are your actions. That's what you did. Um, I, you know, I'm still surprised that the video got like that. Okay, first off, I got to point out how this guy is frothing at the mouth of going viral right now. He's just like, TikTok me is like, calm down, buddy. Holy shit. I'm tired of these TikTokers going viral and just like losing their minds. Probably going to turn into a TikTok live NPC when he realizes it makes like four grand a day or something. Anyways, little controversial here, but I've always maintained the same opinion that actually recording people without their consent is pretty, pretty uh, annoying thing to do. I feel like even if they've wronged you in some way, you shouldn't be putting that out on the internet because on the internet, you expose them to millions of people and uh, potentially people like stalking and harassing them, which is uh, definitely not something uh, you want happening. But also, uh, I, I definitely get why they were mad enough to record it. And if they're trying to jack a $5,000 bill on you, that's a bit weird. But nobody can really force you to pay that. At, at least I don't think. You can just kind of walk out of the restaurant, right? Now, listen, I am of the firm belief that it is totally okay to split bills, okay? I just have an issue with how they're doing it, okay? Splitting evenly is completely brain dead. I feel like you should split based on how much the person has ordered. So if I ordered a $5 piece of bread, I am paying just $5, okay? I'm sorry that 4,600 is your problem because you're the idiot that ordered the goddamn food, okay? If you are ordering food that you can't afford, you are maliciously taking advantage of the situation to make sure that your friends are paying, your friends, because clearly you don't value them, you just see them as uh, free wallets, apparently. This is so far removed from my lifestyle, it's actually funny because I just eat chicken and rice every day, okay? I'm not out here ordering atomic number 79. Even Reddit is chiming in here, apparently. For real, first off, though, choose your friends wisely. None of my friends would try to pull any kind of BS like in this video. I'll pay for my entree, my drinks, my appetizers. I insisted on and additionally anything else that I'd explicitly offer to cover. I've taken care of the whole bill on occasion, usually a friend's birthday or something, but none of my friends would ever expect it. And that is the problem here. Whenever somebody decides to actually cover your bill or pay for you that is a gesture of generosity and you know speaks to their character they're trying to help people out but the second you start expecting it and demanding it and you start raising prices to five thousand dollars thinking you, you you know you got a little life hack here oh my my, my rich friend is gonna pay for everything you're a bit mistaken also there, there's no evidence that any of them are rich at all okay okay so in this next part he goes on about how he's promoting his friends businesses because he's a good guy despite the fact that they tried to extort him for money also y'all i want to say i also like sell clothes and stuff and please 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 support the business too i appreciate y'all my friends have business if you want to go to their page, I actually tagged them in the video. I'm um, not even text some people that wasn't my friend in the video because they said they wanted to be in it. And like I said, even though we're not cool, we got beef. I'm still going to take you in the video because, you know, you was a part of it because I'm not like that. I'm not trying to block blessings, even though we had very big differences. Who in their right mind is watching that TikTok and going, I would love to do business with this guy's friend. The only information I have about your friends is that they're trying to scam you for $5,000. They seem like wonderful business partners right there. Now click this video or your next bill is 69 straight to your credit card for your mom's V-Bucks. What?